Welcome back to Las Vegas. Now, there are new mammography guidelines for women who have had or plan to get the COVID-19 vaccine. So let's welcome Dr. Stephen Yates of Intermountain Healthcare, the sponsors of this next segment, of course, to break these new national recommendations down for us. Hello, Dr. Yates. Hi. You are quite ravishing in your pink well, for <laughs> breast cancer awareness. I'm loving these colors on you. Well, thanks. Um, <laughs> you it is sharp. October, and we do yes. want to continue to to remember that this is breast cancer awareness. Absolutely. Uh, it is important that women get screened for mm -hmm. breast cancer because early detection s clearly saves lives. Absolutely. For women with early stage breast cancer, the survival rate's greater than 90%. Um, right now, COVID has been a real problem because we've had a significant drop in women going for screenings because mm -hmm. of COVID. We've, because they're afraid to go into the They're afraid offices, to go right? in. We saw it depends on where you look, anywhere from 40 to 60 percent of screenings were down across the country wow. because of COVID. And it's going to take us a while to catch up, so we want you to go get your vaccine. It's safe. Our radiation and radiology colleagues are doing measures to make sure that women are protected in a safe and, and clean environment to get their screenings. Uh, good, good. Now, what are the new guidelines that we're mentioning? What, what are doctors recommending? So, well, first, first Continue to get your mammograms mm -hmm. um, at least every two years for higher risk women. I still think it's best to do it every year. Right. Um, if you have had the COVID vaccine, though, this is the new deal. The COVID vaccine can cause some swelling of the lymph nodes okay. under the arm where you've had the injection. It's a relatively painless process, but that swollen lymph node will look bad on a mammogram mm -hmm. and will scare everybody and you'll end up having to be evaluated for the swollen lymph nodes. So right. if you've had your COVID vaccine, wait at least a month after the vaccine before you go and do your mammogram. Okay, that is very good advice, very good advice. So what is the, the overall, you know, the overall theme of what you want to remind women out there? So if they do see this, they have to wait. Well, you know, preferably go ahead and get your vaccine mm -hmm. as soon as possible. Um, and then a month or so after that, go, go and get your mammogram if you're due or past due. Okay, and I see we're looking at something right now. What, what is going on on the screen? Where are we? We walking through Intermountain Healthcare? I'm not sure where that is. Well, then what, what is Intermountain Healthcare doing to, to help this cause? Oh, okay. So, well, first and foremost, Intermountain Healthcare is still working hard to make sure that women do get their screening mammograms. Mm -hmm. So we have extra measures in place to identify those women who are past due to get those orders in place so they can get their mammograms. And we're working with our radiology partners to make it easier for them to get scheduled and get in and get it, get it done in a timely fashion. Okay, and of course COVID safe. It is COVID safe, yes. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Yates. Uh, thank you to Intermountain Healthcare for sponsoring this segment. Just head to intermountainhealthcare.org slash Nevada for more information and don't forget your screenings, everybody.